I'm Gary Bouvet, Project Manager at ISCO Industries. I'm here at our Riverport facility in Louisville, Kentucky, today conducting a test on fusing dissimilar DR materials, DR135 pipe to DR11 fittings. We're gonna compare that to fusions of DR11 pipe to DR11 fittings. We're gonna take both of those pieces and take it to our testing lab and put it in a test tank and do hydrostatic pressure test on both of those pieces. We begin by fusing together a single piece of six inch HDPE to an end cap on one end and a flange adapter on the other end. We are using a McElroy rolling 2.8 fusion machine with a McElroy data logger seven. Our pipe for the first two welds is DR13.5 with DR11 fittings. The second spool piece will be DR11 pipe and DR11 fittings. The visual difference in pipe wall thickness is minimal. The DR13.5 is just under one half inch thick, while the DR11 is 0.6 inches, a difference of about a tenth of an inch. These numbers are outlined here in ISCO's product catalog. To begin the fusion process, the Data Logger 7 takes you through the necessary steps to ensure the fusion is properly performed. When fusing different DRs, as we are on the first two joints, the data logger will ask you to input the changes to confirm that you are using the melt time for the lower DR number and the pressure for the higher DR number. If there is any confusion, ISCO's Fusion Manual, which accompanies all ISCO Fusion equipment and is available online, can outline the changes when fusing pipe and fittings with differing DRs. The inside and outside of the pipe has been cleaned thoroughly of dirt and debris. The pipe and end cap fittings are secured in the jaws of the fusion machine and the facing process begins. We clear the excess pipe shavings or ribbons that have been removed by the facing tool. Then we confirm that the alignment is still satisfactory. The heating plate is mounted between the cleanly faced ends and the heat soak is initiated. Once the heat soak is complete, the pipe is separated and the heating plate is quickly and carefully removed. Inspect the ends for smooth, flat, and a complete melt, then join the two ends together. The double bead will roll into place. When the proper cooling time has elapsed, the fusion is complete. A flange adapter will now be fused on the other end of the spool piece for the testing process, and the DR11 pipe and DR11 cap and the flange adapter will also be fused together. These will also be performed by following the data logger and fusion manual instructions. Once the spool pieces are complete, it is off to the hydrostatic testing lab. Our testing engineers attach a blind flange plate to the flange end of the spool piece to fill the pipe with water and attach to the air hose. The spool piece is carefully lowered into the constant temperature testing tank. As the test begins, pressurized air will enter the spool piece, increasing the pressure built up inside the pipe until it fails. The testing process not only gives answers about the durability and integrity of the pipe and welds, but also confirms the leak-free quality of fused HDPE pipe and fittings. Otherwise, the test could not be performed. Per ASTM standards, the spool piece should reach failure point at 3.2 times its working pressure to be within specifications. The first spool piece we fused, the DR13.5 pipe to the DR11 fitting, has a pressure rating of 160 PSI. As you can see, the pipe finally fails at 760 PSI, 4.75 times the pressure rating. And despite the differing DRs, the fusion joints and the fittings are not compromised. The same steps are taken to prepare the DR11 pipe and fittings spool piece. As anticipated, the thicker walled pipe, which has a pressure rating of 200 PSI, sustained pressure up to 900 PSI before failing, four and a half times the pressure rating. Once again, it was the pipe that eventually failed not the fusion joints or the fittings. 
The failure points on both of these occurred in the pipe itself, not at the fitting welt. The 11 to 11 failed in the pipe at about 900 PSI, more than four times the pressure rating of the pipe itself, which is 200 PSI. The DR13.5 pipe to DR11 fittings failed at about 740 PSI, again, about 100 PSI greater than the four times the working pressure of the 13.5 pipe. So this goes to prove and validate that the pipe and fittings fused together with dissimilar DRs is more than capable of handling the working pressures of the systems that you're working with. This follows the ASTM 2160 guideline to allow one DR variation in DRs that can be fused together. Thank you for joining us.